Welcome back to High Cheese Mets News, baseball news. I'm Tommy. This is Bobby. The regular season's over. The Mets are 101 and 61 on the year. It was absolutely magical. We believe. We still believe. We never stopped believing. I uh, postseason tomorrow, today, probably today because when we release this, Padres coming to town. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the postseason. Let's talk about the past season. It's right here, 2022 in the books. Put it in the books. That's right. Welcome back. Welcome back to High Cheese. How are we, Bobby? How are we? Let's go, Mets. Go. I'm good. I'm good. You know, he wanted the division. Yeah. We talked Nightmare Scenario. What did we get? Nightmare Nightmare. Scenario. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, not great. Um, No. (laughs) No. Uh, Takeaways, though, you know, it was only in Atlanta. It's not like we got beat at home. Yeah, and that place is just so... Fucking crazy! Now I don't know when it became so intimidating to play in Atlanta. Uh, I don't remember it even last year. The whole lights out and like uh, phone shop. It's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Shouldn't should, shouldn't turn off all the lights. No. What if what like if I hazard. fall? What if yeah. I fall? Yep. What if I'm like a fan? A t- what if I child? trip? Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Bit bit hazardous, Atlanta. Maybe safety first sometimes. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, and also like flashing lights. Like, what if there's an epileptic? Like, in well, the, they don't in the flash crowd? and they just leave them lit, don't they? Yeah, you're right. But I mean, the moving. I'm just saying it's dangerous. That's what dangerous. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Dangerous. But no, uh, obviously we didn't show up. You know, we didn't show no, up. No, the bats we didn't swing. No. no, and and yeah, our pitchers yeah, got wasn't... rocked in the mouth, and I don't think our offense expected that. And I think it just shook everyone. And I don't even now think it was ready. a rock, but I don't even think it was a rock in the mouth because at the same time they pitched good. It's like they like let up. Th- Bassett got rock in the mouth. Degrom yeah. and Scherzer like uh, like letting up. I, I it, they put up un Degrom and un Scherzer esque performances is what yes. it was. And that, I think that's what I mean by what but the still, offense has seen all year from these guys. That's yeah. not what they got, and they were just like, "Wait, what's happening?" You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it know. It was. Chalk it up to three bad games, and now yeah, and light, Atlanta's also been on a pay- Atlanta's oh. been on a 114 like game win pace since June. Yeah. So like yeah, <laughs> what, are we, what not, are we gonna I think do? We've that? been I think since June we've been playing at a 97 game pace. You know what I mean? Like so like it's not like we are playing bad. We're playing great. No. You just no. have to the, tip your caps had, to Atlanta for playing we had that, a little bit better. The second best season in the history of this franchise. Yep, other than ever. Yeah. Yeah. Other than 86? 86. Yep. That's it. 88, we won the 100, but we didn't win the 101. So once we got that. This is the second best season in the history of this fucking franchise. And it's been unbelievable to watch the whole time. I fucking loved every second of it. It's only the second buck year. And look at all of the It's the first buck year, dude. Uh, Excuse me. I meant Cohen year. Sorry. It's only the second. That wasn't an aggressive. It's the first bucket. That was me just like reiterating like it's still the first. Yeah, (laughs) my bad. I meant it's the second Cohen year. The first bucket year. And like we're we're just getting started here. Like this is this is this is just round one. No, this is it's postseason. First time in the postseason. I saw someone posted the lineup from 2015. I saw that too. You should see these lineups. I saw that post. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the pieces night and day dude the pieces yeah. we're working with my buddy sent it to me said it to our mm-hmm. little met group chat and was just like look at look at what terry was putting out there yeah. in 2015 i was like yep oh yeah. oh stinky, stinky. <laughs> very stinky love those boys love those yeah. guys yep but i wonder what too. A, what a change yeah before we get into the like the playoff lookout I was talking about Definitely. the regular season right now. Yeah. This season was yeah. amazing. It was a, a credible season. Yeah. We, we like we didn't have Jake for more than half. We lost Scherzer for a third. Yep. There were a lot of things that could have derailed this season, and nothing really did. I'll tell you one thing that I'm kind of shocked at, that we broke the hit-by-pitch record and didn't lose really as many guys as you'd think to, like, hand injuries. Yeah, like, yeah, we're like, still feeling that, Starling Marte. We miss you, Mickey Marte. We miss you, Starling. Obviously, You're the one piece we want. You're the one piece we need in that hit-by-pitch. That's the worst, too, because Starling Marte, the biggest <laughs> thing when he was signed by the Mets was his injury, you know, his you're seasons saying, with injury. The, Met, the Mets and, are looking for the, the one piece? <laughs> <laughs> um... 
And he was he was the one thing that people were like, well, he's been injury plagued and stuff like that. And this year, besides him getting hit by fucking pitches, he hasn't, yeah. and he's been great, and he's been yeah. having a turnaround year. Not that he needed one. He's not that he was down and that needed a turnaround. But compared yeah. to the past couple seasons, people were Man was worried All-Star. about his stuff. He crushed. He crushed, yeah. and we miss you dearly, Sterling. But yes, yeah. to your point, the fact that we got hit the most times ever. And yeah. we didn't lose everybody. Right. Some of I those mean, were hit in the face. We got Pete. We got Francisco in the first month. We're getting hit. First week, we're getting hit right in the fucking face. Yeah. So we break the hit by pitch record, right? We won 101 games, right? Like the list just goes on. You were at the no, the combined no hitter game. You saw a, a lot of games. No hitter. Like, yeah, your list of games, like you, you put out a highlight reel, which was at, awesome. And it was just like, you saw everything. At this point, the Mets should get me to games because I seem to be there for when the big stuff yeah. happens. Jeff McNeil, even the small stuff that's not as big, like the Jeff McNeil rain home run, the, the home oh. run in the rain, I was there for that. I was there for no hitters. Pete Alonso's walk off against the Cardinals. Opening day, obviously. Um, back to yeah. back to back home runs the other night. Francisco Alvarez's first home run. Sterling Marte's first home run as a Met. I was there for a lot of Francisco Lindor. This isn't even this season, but last season I was there for Francisco Lindor's first home run uh, at City Field as a Met. Yeah, I got to see. I got lucky this year. I got real yeah. lucky this year. It was awesome. A lot of good games. A lot, a lot of, of great... cool moments. If you're a Mets fan, though, it was just yeah, a really yeah, just fun, fun stuff to see. In, yeah, yeah, exactly. Even just being a Met fan, it was fun to watch. And, like, I understand that people are upset. I get that people are upset. I get the media's Mets are yeah. going to Met. But we won 101 games. Don't listen we, to the haters. We, we had the toughest division in baseball. Yeah. We had we had it's not the like Braves. we played in the AL East or anything. <laughs> AL East got crazy down on the wire, though. It did, yeah, I know. Yeah, Baltimore and, and, started stepping and, up. And, and three-fifths of it are in the playoffs, so. Yeah. It's kind of hard to <laughs> you hard shit on that. Yeah, <laughs> three-fifths of the two-fifths of the at least. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it was been a great year. You know, yeah. Jeff McNeil won the batting title. He g- oh. gets a car, right? Right. What's he gonna and get? Ninety-two he's Civic. Gonna, I've been gonna, saying it all. Right. I've <laughs> seen all the car jokes. So many people just being like, you know, what was it? A vi- uh, a, a crown, crown Vic. Someone was like, he's gonna get like a, a little cop car. Like, there's yeah, been yeah. so many cars. That I've heard thrown out. He's gonna get something nice though. He's I hope he does car. whatever he does. I hope he like does a nice like squirrel wrap. You know what I mean? Like wraps the car first with like a squirrel <laughs> decal and like flying squirrel stuff. That'd be killer. Yeah, That'd be killer. Just get orange. Hopefully it's orange and blue. I hope it's some, yeah. some sick met met colors. You think? Um, uh, net kind of shifting a little here. What do you? Uh, speaking of Alvarez's home run, do you think he's someone that makes like the October roster? Yeah, I think that's why they brought him up, right? Okay. Because you needed to be on the roster before the uh, before you October did. to yeah. make it to playoff. So I think that's literally the reason. I don't think he was like I don't think they brought him up for the Atlanta series, being like this is gonna do it. Like no. I thought they were like, all right, let's maybe see if this does it, but let's bring him up so we can have him for the playoffs. Because yeah. let me tell you, James McCann's not it. Let me no. tell you, I love your cannon, dude, and your your sweet guy. But holy shit, dude, <laughs> am I? N- Every time it's like, oh my god, dude, you're yeah, and he's not great. Like it seems like he's been off defensively. It seems the, the like his framing's plate, been the off. The plate. I know. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. I know. I know. And I, and it sucks too because I was excited for when we got him. He had coming off that hot year with the White everyone's, Sox. Everyone's favorite country LA kid. <laughs> dude, I don't know what it is, you know? but let me tell you, seeing that Francisco bomb, I was immediately just like, first of many. Yeah, first of many, we're gonna be seeing a lot of those, and it was a, a shot. It was like four. Guy. It was like four thirty, I think. Four thirty oh, yeah. something. Yeah, it was a shot. I had a great angle of it from first baseline too. It nice. <laughs> it's funny too because that's the game you weren't in left field, and it went. It would have went like to the it was a couple. Right. I yeah, was I know a, it was a section trust, over. It, oh, if it went, if it went, trust you me, it was not. <laughs> Did not get past me that if that landed in my section, I was gonna off myself. <laughs> I was, uh, but like, no, uh, but no, no balls were hit to that section really. My section really this year. It's a. I was keeping an eye out for it. Left I know. Center, like I know. I don't know why I thought maybe. I'd get more. I don't know. I gotta just get more toward the pole next year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it's I would get more. Shot. I know. No maybe. t-shirts either. I, my section. You're in- Dead you want land. t-shirts? Don't go to center field. They go to fucking the never line. come out. Seven line area. They're always out there just There's fucking like, t-shirts to those seven line fans. Yeah, like they, they Trump send them, dude. Towels. 
<laughs> they send them. They just send them yeah, over yeah. there, and they never come toward the apple. So you want T-shirts? Don't go to fucking center field. No. To left the apple. Go to the right of the apple. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great year in general. Um, year. Yeah, so much fun, and and not not over. Postseasons yeah. right now. Postseasons right around the corner. It's October yep. baseball time, baby, which is some of the most exciting shit ever. And we got the Padres. The Padres are coming to town. Mike Clevenger, the old doppelganger, is showing up again. Yep. Um, maybe I'll just I'll dress up and sneak into the Padres clubhouse and poison them. It's a little drastic, but you know, maybe we'll just watch the game. Yeah, and hope for the right. best. You're right. You're right. Um, Max Scherzer's pitching Friday. Max yep. Scherzer, you, you Darvish. I'll tell you the one thing I was like Padres, pff, but you Darvish, you because you, you Darvish for some reason has our number, has our well, number usually. Um, he has like eleven pitches. <laughs> like <laughs> he does have all the pitches. Yeah, he's got every um, single one. Like it's just like he's yeah, he's good though. He's filthy. Yeah. And he's the one, and he he rocked us this year, and he also rocked us this year and hit us like what three times in one fucking game. Yeah. So, um, we'll it'll see. be a fun game though. Scherzer, what do you think Scherzer. about Scherzer getting the first game and them holding the Grom off? Uh, I like it. It shows a bit of confidence in the Mets. It shows that they're like, hey, we you don't think it's one- cocky. No, I don't. You don't. You don't think that's overconfidence? No, because like why? Like to- essentially, if they lose the first mean? one. They're throwing Degrom the second, you know, like. Yeah, I guess, but urgency, right? Like, just win now. Why don't you throw Degrom number two so you win the game? Like, like God forbid, it goes to three. Why even give them that momentum? I, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't because think that. I agree the, with. Because on the flip side of that, then in the five game series against the Dodgers, you have Degrom twice versus just once. Yeah, I get that, but get there first. They are. They're. I mean, their plan is to get there. They're relying on Scherzer and they're relying on Bassett. Then why don't, then why don't you just? Three. Why don't you just pitch the ground Friday? The, in the first game. Why not just pitch on Friday? Because then he's ensured to be rested, however long we you need him. We don't for game know one. what's going on even with that blister. Maybe he needs another few uh, days with that blister. Like you know, uh, like I, maybe, I forgot about the. I forgot about that. Yeah, like he's got, got that, that going on. So, like, maybe Scherzer's feeling better, and Scherzer's been there before. He's got the experience. He's a veteran. (laughs) This is what you got Scherzer for. Yeah, well, that's what we thought we got. No, I take that back because that's – yeah, I take it back. Game one of the wild card is why we got him. Yeah, We got him to pitch great. He he didn't pitch as good as he did in Atlanta, but this is why we got him. City Field's going to fire Max Scherzer. Are they going to wear the black jerseys Friday? They're wearing the blacks? I don't know. It's a good question, but I doubt it. Me too. Pinstripes. Classic. Classic. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, the boys are ready. Got the MLB leaders and RBIs and batting average. So. Right. You can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong there. I mean, you have what? Alonzo and Lindor with a combined 260 something RBI, you know? I think it's that high. Yeah. Two, oh, and why, why not? So no, it's two, like probably 240 two, two, something. 240, yeah, 240. Because yeah. Pete's 137, 137 and Lindor's Francis 108, I think. So. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be good stuff. It's going to be nerve wracking. We got primetime slots every day, too. Late night, not late night, but yeah. 8 p.m., 7 yep. 30. Um, so we, uh, yeah, we might go live for it. Who knows? Either way, we're going to be stressing. Oh, yeah. Um, we had a, gonna be fun. Br- a lot of. We had a couple Braves in our live stream last time. It was like, all right, like, thanks for yeah. coming, but, like, get out, you know? <laughs> See your way out, dude. And no one commented except for the Braves guy. Yeah, except the Bra- like we had a whole, time. Had a whole like conversation, and he was, like, very was polite like, yeah. and, like, oh, yeah, can you give me play-by-play? Sure. And we're like, yeah, you got it. But we're giving yeah, him, like, and it's like play-by-play play the fucking come back. Braves. And like, like, nope. <laughs> it's just like, okay. So show up to this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go, Mets. Even if you don't, we're going to be putting out the high cheese content. That's why we're here. We're here for you people. Uh, we're here for ourselves, too. It's fun for us. Like and yeah. subscribe. Comment. Do you, I don't know. Who do you think is going to show up this postseason? Who's going yard? Game one. Is anyone yeah. going yard? I mean, Pete. Right? Pete. I'm going Alvarez. If you play him. I'm thinking. Him. Is he getting the get start, game one? What's, what's you? You a righty or lefty? Lefty, right? I, I think he's now. a righty, but I don't know. I think he's right. a righty. If he's a righty, then it won't be Alvarez. I don't know. I'm not a Padre fan. 
right. or a Cub fan. All right. All right. Sounds I good. say that, but like if you ask me right now, like what Noga Sex throws, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> maybe <Yeah>. right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting road. It's a heck of a road for us. Yeah. The Padres, potential, the potential Dodgers, road is Padres, Braves. Dodgers, Braves, and then whatever AL. Or Cardinals or Phillies who are both fucking Could dirty be. too. You know what I mean? Could be. Fun stuff. Um, let's go. Yeah, so let's go Mets, baby. Let's go with the postseason. October baseball's here. And yeah. we're ready. And we're ready for more magic. Are you? Hey, and a quick shout out. Let's go Mariners. Making them playoffs and in that like playoff drought. Uh, yeah. Tommy, uh, <laughs> I think it's cool. I like J-Rod. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I fucking Guess hate not. Jesse Winker, so I don't care. All right. Forget it. Yeah. Cool. Let's go Mets. Go. <laughs> Let's go Mets. <laughs>